Hi, Mark Leibman here with another episode of Clients. You know what I'm talking about. Today, two ways to measure money. We often think about our finances as either balances or flows. It helps to understand both if you want to be comfortable financially. Balances are what we have. It's the number on our investment statement or the value of our bank account, 401k or Roth IRA. Some believe a certain grand total is required in order to retire or to meet some other financial goal. Flows are the income and the outgo month by month or year by year. They include recurring items like paychecks or social security coming in, travel expenses or utilities going out. You've heard me mention the orchard and the fruit crop before. The orchard is a balance. It's what we own. The fruit crop is the flow. If the fruit crop is big enough to live on, we don't need to worry what the neighbor would pay us for the orchard. For instance, if Social Security and a pension flows more than meet your cash flow needs in retirement, if the flows run a surplus, you might feel comfortable financially even without a fortune in balances. On the other hand, if you spend more than what's coming in, if your flows are negative, you may feel financially stressed no matter how big your balances are. Part of our work for you is turning balances into flows. Folks build up balances, concentrate on balances over the course of their careers. But in planning for retirement, we can shift our thinking. How big of a fruit crop could your orchard deliver? Clients, you know what I'm talking about. Stop in and see us at 228main.com. Online or on Maine.